Welcome back to Life and Style. This is a Tastic Tuesday. We had a good time all performing arts and uh, Twitter is uh, turned up already. Now we're on Paintbrush and we've got a young gentleman here who's doing phenomenal work. Multi-talented. Karibu sana to the show. Maybe you can start by introducing yourself and what kind of art that you do. My name is Thomas I'm Kendi. I'm Kenyan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An adult, eh? And um, I have specialized in uh, drawing, pencil work mostly, but I also do like what we call sculpture, right from every media, from wood, stone, Whoa. and even uh, much of resin and fiberglass. I studied this in university, mm -hmm. I was at KU. Okay, fine arts? I did arts, fine arts, yeah, okay. Bachelor of Fine Arts mm -hmm. for four years. And that is when I just developed this passion and then I've nurtured it. And right now, that is what I do. That's what pays my bills. That's what uh, keeps me in Nairobi. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you do all these kinds of arts. You do sculpture. You do. Uh, you talked about interior designing. Yes. You also talked about um, wood, metal, stone, all of those things. And you also draw. So how do you find time to, you know, is, is there one particular form of art that has more love than the other? Basically, yes. You know, you have to develop uh, much more love for one thing. Uh -huh. That usually haunts you so much. So what love is that? Uh, drawing is, ah. as you can see, there are more drawings on set. Yes. So I do more drawing and a bit more sculpture, but more drawing. More drawing. Yeah. And when I look around, a pencil work, really amazing. I can see two people from uh, KTN. I see Betty Chalo there. Sure. That Io Imekubali looks really good. Oh, thank you You so would much. not think twice or try to think, Uyo ni nani. <laughs> then I see DJ Katrix. Yes. Yeah. I see, who else do I see? Who is this? This is Jaguar. Uh -huh. Oh, this is Jaguar. You know him? I know Jaguar. Of yeah, course I know Jaguar. He's, a, he's a very oh. good person to youth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it's good I do for him these portraits. Okay. So big, more than A1, eh? Yeah, this is really huge. And, uh, it's huge. And he Did needs he buy to see it? it. He needs to see it. Oh, he he needs, has not seen he's going to see it right he now. Needs, he's it, actually, it. I hope he is watching. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay. And the yeah. other lady? That lady is my friend from uh, the US. Mm -hmm. She was in Kenya on exchange program. So we met in Kenyatta University and we became friends. So I did a portrait of her. Wow. She was very happy. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm holding one here that is also really huge and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, these are our boys, so the Saudi Soul. The Saudi Soul, the girl. Looking so good. Very amazing. Yeah. I did their portrait. Uh, I met one of the managers uh -huh. and uh, she told me to do them this mm -hmm. and after doing it we have not met and then uh, I deliver it to her. Okay, yeah. this is really good. Thank you good so job. much. So what process, what, how, what, does it, um, what does it take for you to come up with, you know, such amazing projects and such big um, pieces of, uh, this, what is this, this paper? Yeah, this is uh, embossed. Mm -hmm. Embossed paper, yes. Yeah, so uh, what, can I, what, what can I say? I say... Uh, Mostly what I usually tell uh, my people, mm -hmm. those people ask me how I come up with this work, I tell them it's patience and uh, creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, patience and creativity means you can't just map like uh, this drawing just from nowhere. You need to start from somewhere. Okay. I could sit down, mm -hmm. develop maybe like get an original image, look at it, and then try to get like measurements from it. And then you measure those measurements direct to this, and then you are able to enlarge the image to fit that size. At the exact exact uh, yeah. same size and proportion it was size, on the, the size. Size may be different. Bigger, it can be on phone. Mm -hmm. Size may you, you know on phone the size is small. Very like, small. Very small. The screen is small, mm -hmm. but you are able to map it. Maybe okay. like uh, we, these days we have we've gone digital. We have artist grids. They are on phone. You can download them, and then when you get the grid you're able to use the grid to map it on a, a larger space mm -hmm. and then to it there exactly, it just fits exactly. And it okay. has to look like the person you're drawing. Absolutely, Patient. that's really good. Now I've seen uh, someone do this kind of pencil work and um, they had a technique. I don't know if you use the same, probably you tell us how you do it. Yeah. But they draw grids on the yeah. paper yeah. and then now they, they, they label the grids like yeah. one, two, three, then one, two, three, the same way. And then now okay. they use on the original paper or the original photo where there's a one, that's where they put the other one. <laughs> Is that the same process you use? For me, uh, for me now, I use a digital way. 
Okay. I use uh, I use mostly my tablet to just map it. Ah. So I get my grid from the tablet. Mm -hmm. And then from uh, there, what I do, I don't use that one, two, but I, it's uh, the same grid. I ah. do the grid on the paper, but I don't just label it one, two, three, nine. Okay, nine. no. Uh, Digital. At the back of my mind, once I get that iPad looking at it, at the back of my mind, I know I can move, like after zooming, like uh, my, my image on the iPad, I know how to move on the paper and cool. not to miss even one, because if you miss even uh, just even a single line, you're going to mess up the drawing. It's not going to look the exactly. exact thing. So you have to be very careful and you have just to be in a, like uh, maybe a quiet place whereby you need no interruptions at all. Ah. Yeah? Okay. So that you, you take your time, mm -hmm. you don't get lost and then come up with the perfect thing as it's supposed to be. At You're you. very passionate about this. <laughs> very, very passionate. What drove you to get into, you know, like arts and all? Uh, art, I have been uh, in this art field maybe for long since I was born. Eh? <laughs> I used to draw a lot even at home. And uh, my parents encouraged me to uh, go for it. Because even when I joined campus, I was called... Uh, was uh, told to take a uh, telecommunication and I didn't like it. At all? Did you try? I tried for one <laughs> semester. <laughs> just one sem? One semester. And, uh, and then? I had to just uh, abandon it and go for art, which uh, is very good. I feel nice about it. Right now, I can speak about what I love and I feel good about it. And everyone is appreciating. Cool, and you do yeah. what you love. That means you enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it doesn't it. feel like work at all. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now it pays my bills very uh, conveniently. It no struggle. Like, it has taken How's the industry places. though? You know, some are saying the industry, we do not appreciate art as Kenyans. How, what would you say about that? As Kenyans, yes, at some point we are not appreciating art so much. Because as you can see, like this artworks, maybe they, they have stayed maybe from last year some mm. of them they could have gone because if we had like serious people they hey when they see like you've done this art they just take it and another thing like in the government like you see doctors are striking right now yes but we don't have an artist association oh. governing us helping us to, to like negotiate with the government and know like how our art should be even be prized you know at times our as artists we don't know even how to price our, our artworks. Mm. So at times it's tough. We need at least to get to know how to go about it. And we need to get a body governing us at least to yeah. support us and to support our art. In other countries, developed countries, I tell you, I've just done my research and they are much more ahead. Mm. When artist is uh, being uh, like identified, they nurture him or her and they take very keen consideration about what he or she does and it goes viral and it goes to next level. But here in Kenya, you can be doing this, people will be watching you, they'll be laughing and at you. Is, I love it, not, I love uh, it. Hey, just, That's where it ends. Yeah, but they will not like uh, maybe have that, uh, like uh, uh, giving you that motivation to go ahead mm. and maybe uh, do it much more. And even buying your art. Yeah, I've yeah. noticed you do a lot of portraits. Yes. Why the love of portraits? I love portraits because um, you know, in our homes, because I also did interior design, I realized that uh, most people have uh, gone uh, this way, like they want to see themselves in their houses in uh, different sizes, like uh, even you frame it, people love it. Like, uh, as you can see this one, when you frame, it looks very yeah, presentable. Yeah, it looks really good. You, can you notice who's that? I'm by the By the look or by the look of, uh, at it. Still this idea. Yeah? Still help me. And, and if anani, nikiva specs. When I, when oh I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I wear specs, I look, specs I, I, me here. Yeah, 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 I look like did. that. So, okay. uh, I realized that interior design needs uh, some uh, tasty things like uh, portraits in the house. Most houses now, guys are just coming up with buildings and then they have hardships in deciding what to put inside. Walls are empty. I realized that you can just uh, adopt this. It's a good way. It goes very fast. Portraits, by the way, they, they are being loved, right? Um, uh, as at now, Kenya, where it is right now, mm -hmm. people are beginning appreciating art portraits okay. and they love them. Some of them prefer them in painting form. Some mm -hmm. of them prefer them in drawing. Okay. But you know, it depends. Even painting is good because of durability. Even a drawing, when you frame it, it it's durable. It you stays. Know, it's, it's very, very... Um 
unique to have an artist to actually go ahead and draw themselves. Yeah. I don't think I've met one who's gone out of the way to just, you know, draw themselves and even showcase it. Yeah. Uh, and that brings me to think, you know, sometimes you get to an artist and tell them, you know, I, I, want, I want you to do a portrait of me. And when I see it, I tell you, this is not me. You didn't get that smile right. Yeah. Or one eye is not. Did you, feel, did you feel that you did yourself justice? When I look at the, the reference image, I yeah. just see it is okay. I know, and when you look at yourself. When I look at myself, <laughs> yeah, that is, that is me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see me there mm -hmm. and I feel good about it. Have you done any other portraits of yourself? Yes, I did back. This is the latest. So there's another one I tried before Ish. and it okay. was not It, it was, was not, not good. me. It was yeah. not you? It was not So you me. could not draw you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it takes time. Uh, at first, uh, maybe I didn't even use the grid. I, I just said myself, I know myself. I know I draw myself, myself. Chora too. So, uh, and most artists uh, don't draw themselves. Because, you they know don't. why? They, 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 they find it very hard to draw themselves. But when you go to an extent of drawing yourself, that means you're passionate about it. You really, you really got it. Okay. okay? So that uh, is art. Let's talk about that piece. Ah, this one. That piece is this very piece. fascinating. This piece, yes. This is a, uh, you know, some some people uh, when they look at this, they, they feel it's metal. This is not metal. What is it? This is a mixture of resin and fiberglass. Resin, okay. when when you, when you get resin, resin is a liquid form. When you get in liquid form, um, and when you had uh, some some liquid known as a hardener, it hardens up very fast. So before you come up with this, you need to get clay and mold a form of this the face clay and you just make the face after making the face uh -huh. you come with the resin you make you mix your resin before putting the adder you come with uh, uh, we call it silicon rubber yes silicon you apply first after applying some uh, petroleum jerry just uh, just to make it at least uh, when you're going to peel it off it doesn't like uh, spoil your face okay or just stick when you put petroleum then you put your silicon on the clay, clay more clay model first. Eh? Okay. So when you just uh, uh, apply the silicone on top of it, you apply the fiberglass with resin. After that, when you peel it off, you know you get the negative. Yes. When you get the negative, uh -huh. you get the negative of that face. Like if it's the face of you, I just mold you, I'll just make a model of you, and then I'll do that process. I'll go through the process. And then when I get a negative of you, uh -huh. I'll now repeat the process from inside. You see now when you have just peeled it from here, you get a negative. Yes. The negative that you get is where you just apply the petroleum jelly or just a cooking fat or something mm -hmm. to help you like uh, not to stick together. So when you apply, you just mix the, the, the silicone again. Mm -hmm. Once you mix the silicone, you put the hardener. When you put the hardener, you apply it inside. What? When you apply it inside, it takes that shape of that form. So that is how I came up with this. Wow. It takes the exact shape. I, I, I think you've gone uh, to town, you've seen Dead and Kimathi. Yes. The, that is the technique they use. Are you serious? That stuff is very light. It's not heavy. No. It's light and, and it, it does not like, uh, it, when, when it dries up, like right now, uh -huh. it's very hard. You know, I'll be tempted to, but they, I think it's, it's, uh, it's surrounded by some metal, yeah, so yeah, you can't yeah, jump in yeah, and touch. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. wow, this is fascinating because what I would have thought is mm. you, you get the original of this, probably something that's already made. No. Then you do some things on top of it, then you no, pull this, that off. This is something that I've done from scratch. This is I've really, really good. I've used clay. used clay. I've made the face. You have to work on it for some days. It doesn't take like a day to, you know, the clay, you know, it is very tough to work yes. with. You have to leave it a bit to dry a bit and come and work on it, work on it. But don't leave it so dry because if it dries up so much, you, not, you may not get some features ah. right. So you have to take it. Wow. I have to say, you know, congratulations. This Thank is you. really amazing and it's a very unique Thank kind you. of art. Yes. And my time is running out. Can you imagine? Time is gone, 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 it's gone. So fast. But before we go, I have to ask. <laughs> Oh, you had to go and do this to Mr. Matiangi. <laughs> yes, Matiangi. That's my last and my my current artwork, actually. Yes. Yes. So when uh, Matiangi was uh, the talk of the town, yes. I decided I should do something for him. So when ah. he watches this, 
Live and uh, it's live and style. Live and style. Aye, you want to see that? You want to see inside? Nah, <laughs> this is really, really good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. work even with the trends. What's making news now? Yeah, and you yeah, try yeah. and come up with something around that. Yeah. So how can people get in touch with you? People can get in touch with me on Facebook. I'm on Facebook on Candy uh, M Thomas. Mm -hmm. They can go to Instagram. That is where most guys interact with me. They DM me. They tell me they want stuff. They talk to <laughs> me direct. That is now the best part on Candy Two Five Four official. Okay, the 254. Yeah, on Kenny 254 official. Okay. And then on Twitter, you can go on Kenny 254. And uh, my number, uh, uh, okay, you can just uh, inbox <laughs> me on those um, areas and then I give you my number and then you just sit around. Then conversation more. goes on from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Thomas. Thank it was you. really, really good to have you. Thank you and so much. And all the best in your work. Asante sana. Hi, asawa, asawa. Yes. Well, this has been a paint brush. Thomas has been here with us. We had an amazing time. I forgot to talk about Mr. Courier here, but yeah, moving on swiftly. We're taking a very short commercial break. When we come back, it's all about the visual arts. That's photography and creative of the week.